What's up guys, I'm Ben H and welcome to the project. I am super stoked because yesterday I went out on a little road trip with uh, Danny in the garage and I came back with a ZJ full of Jeep parts. <laughs> and yeah man, there's some of them right there. So in this video, I want to show you all the parts, talk a little bit about some projects and uh, at the end, I'm going to make a little something something. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Alright guys, here it is. First parts are my WJ Knuckles. I finally got them. I've been wanting to do a WJ Knuckle swap on the Dana 30 for the longest time and it's actually going to happen on Beach Jeep. I have the parts now, so this project's coming soon, man. I uh, appreciate all you guys that were uh, with me from the start a couple years ago. I still never built my project, but it's coming. I'm getting closer. I'm investing in the parts now, so it's on. So yes, uh, Doug and Eric actually pulled these parts. Um, I guess I'll tell you the story. We we wanted to get together for the longest time, making a video in the junkyard because man, they do it all the time, and it looks like a blast. And I finally got a chance to get out there and get in the yard with them. So I ended up driving out to Doug's house, and then together we all went to the yard to Harry's. You pull in Pennsburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, man, we found a 2002 WJ, had everything I needed. It was, uh, it was a great time. So actually, Doug and Eric, huge shout out. Um, <laughs> they pulled these the old school way with the BFH, <laughs> blasted the knuckles right out. There we go. Simple. Also saved me the Akabona calipers. These are the real deal, not the crummy thieves that warped all the rotors. Uh, this is great. I'm excited about this. So before we go any further, huge shout out. Thank you, Doug and Eric. Um, thanks for putting that together. And also want to thank them for um, the great contribution they made to my Jeeps Worldwide video. Oh, so good. So thanks, d and &E. Couldn't put that together without you. And I also want to thank each and every one of you guys who contributed. Uh, that video is really special. It means a lot to me. Um, I, I wanted to add a bunch of uh, movie quotes because that's what I do. I didn't put any in that video. Uh, just out of respect for you guys. Um, you know, the old uh, Australian cliche. Good day, mate. <laughs> Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. You know, that classic one with Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber. Decided not to do that. And uh, also there was another one that came to mind when Michael said he had a crazy Dutch accent. Yes, I have a Dutch accent. Isn't that weird? Yeah, of course. So... Didn't do that, but uh, thank you again guys so much. I really had a great time making that video. So, all right, on to the next couple parts. So, here we go. All right, here we go. Here is a pile for my beach Jeep build. We got a 2002 Grand Cherokee airbag. We got the clock spring, and we got the steering wheel controls, uh, the cruise control, and the radio buttons. So, if you guys know what this is, then you'll know this is gonna be a serious mod in the XJ. Uh, you can just put a WJ steering wheel in an XJ. You will need to use a 2001 and older airbag because the uh, the connections don't match up. This is a different style airbag connector. You can't use that in your XJ. But if you're gonna put in the clock spring, you can. It's gonna take some serious modification to put this clock spring in an XJ, but I will do it because my build depends on it. <laughs> so here we go. Here is a uh, WJ rearview mirror, and um, I have this in Black Beauty. This is an easy swap, just power and ground, and you have a functioning rearview mirror. Project Daniel, how you doing in there? Sweating. You're sweating. It's warm. <laughs> Look at that. There's some atmosphere out here today, Boom. but you got what you came for. You carved my headliner out. Um, it was important that I got a 2002 because it was the last year they had the um, instant miles per gallon on the uh, fuel computer, and it's the first year they have the tire pressure monitor system. So um, this is gonna get integrated into my XJ build. And yes, I know what you're thinking, guys, because you are smart, and you know that the XJs have the CCD bus computer system, and of course you know that the WJs have the PCI bus computer system, and it's like two different computer languages. The two can't communicate with one another. So that is why I got the WJ PCM. Um, I have a crazy theory that I'm going to be able to jump uh, my power and pertinent information from my XJ computer to this computer, and then from here I will uh, have the PCM on the WJ communicate with the WJ uh, EVIC, and that 
will tell me all the things I need to. Hopefully, <laughs> I haven't done it yet. We'll see how it works. Um, this is, again, all stuff for my Beach Jeep build, which I promise is coming very soon. All right, next up, we got uh, courtesy lights from an XK. Um, I got a ton of these. I pulled them out of every commander there was in the yard because when I build Beach Jeep, it's going to be uh, long, <laughs> and I'm going to want some courtesy lights up in there, so got extra courtesy lights. Um, I also got the, uh, the O Shiza handles. Shiza! I don't know if I'll be able to put these in. I don't think I need to, but it's cool. I got WJ O Shiza handles. They also have the courtesy light. Uh, here is the wire harness to wire everything up with the, uh, EVIC and the courtesy light. So, I got everything I needed. I got a great score for a great price. All of this was only $166. So I think I have the receipt right here with tax 166 dollars so great you pull i will be going there again all right next up we have some zj parts uh scored this nice little third brake light this is for uh bo out in california subscriber he wanted this so this is getting sent out to him um that is done uh got another shift to bezel why not and i got the little center console and uh <laughs> Another ZJ shifter, because why not? It was cheap enough, got it. Also got a ZJ center console. These are very cushiony and fluffy. This one wasn't ripped, <laughs> very comfortable. So I'm gonna try to integrate this into my Beach Jeep build off, awful, awful? Ugh. Also, yes, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, here, got this at, uh, this at the next stop, um, Allentown. Got this at the Allentown U pull. So this is a ZJ um, lift gate trim, and uh, it's in good shape. So I was able to pull that. Uh, also, there is a red XJ in Harry's of Allentown. It had the trim just like that of an XJ, completely unbroken. I needed to have it. Even this thing uh, that I thought was almost perfect still has a crack right here. And check out this, here's some of my other ones. Completely broken off here. Crack up here. I think I must have personally broke about a hundred of these things, no joke. I just could not get the screws out. They were rusted solid. Had I been home, I would have drilled them out, but they wouldn't let me bring my drill in. They also wouldn't let me bring my torch in. What I would do at home, Get a little bit of the heat miser on there, but they confiscated Dano's torch, so. They misered my miser. They misered your heat miser there. So, instead of spending all day on it, I had to let it go, and it broke my heart, but if anybody out there needs a perfectly good trim piece for an XJ, there's one in Harry's of Allentown. It's in a red XJ with a chrome grill. It's out there for you. All right, so after I went to Allentown and Pennsburg, I also made another stop. And I got uh, some commander parts from a friend of a friend who was parting out a commander. Now, this guy had a 10-second commander uh, with a 5.7 Hemi. He had a Hellcat transmission in it. This thing was juiced. But uh, <laughs> he blew up the motor. So uh, that sucks for him, but it's cool for me. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I got his taillights. I got more courtesy lights. I got his uh, owner's manual book. That's cool. I didn't have one on mine. Uh, also pulled... Oops. Sorry. Uh, also pulled out all the, um, the vents, or as many as I could that weren't broken, because, you know, these are plastic and kids touch and push and break things. So, uh, yes, got those. Also got the commander courtesy lights. Uh, oh crap handles too, because, um, yeah, why not? I forgot to get those when I got the others. More courtesy lights. <laughs> so, uh, my build is going to be all lit up. He also gave me these uh, floor mats for the Commander, so that's great. And uh, here we go. One last part I got was uh, the other canyon rim. So, now it's time to collect my wheels. Well, three out of four anyway. Get them out of the way of the forklift operator. And give them the good old thumbs up. Let them know they're gone. And that's it, guys. Say bye-bye to the Scrap ZJ. I have the three. The fourth one I couldn't get off at the junkyard, and I had to scrap it, and it sucked. So I got this for, like, 
I don't know, $15, why not? So now I have a full set of Canyon rims matching. What the heck? Yeah guys, so that is my Jeep part score from yesterday. Um, actually, here is a sunroof for a ZJ. I'm gonna put that in the General Grievous. Um, I didn't get that yesterday. I've been kicking it around for a while. Can't wait to do that. First, I'm gonna have to do the brakes in the um, XJ, the Black Beauty XJ, before I mess with that. Um, yeah, here, here are all my parts for my brake overhaul. Stay tuned for those videos. I'm going to do a master cylinder and a um, ton of brake stuff for the uh, ton of brake stuff uh, for my ZJ rear disc brake conversion in the XJ. That's coming soon. That's going to be a whole series. Uh, yeah. So here we go. Here's the big surprise I got. This is an awesome part. Um, it's a little big, so it is still in the General Grievous. So we're going to take a good look at it right now. Here we go. Ready for this? Yes. Yes, yes, Y-E-S. This is a Dana 44 from a 2008 JK Rubicon. Yeah, baby. It's got 373 gears. It's got everything. It's got its rotors. It's got its calipers. It's got its brake pads. Probably going to change that out. But uh, yeah, here we go. This is going to be my Beach Jeep rear axle. And uh, yeah, now you guys know that a JK uh, Dana 44 fits in a, uh, a ZJ, barely. So yeah, guys, there it is. A super part score on a super day. Doesn't S mean something if you're a Honda person? Super duper. It's super duper. Only thing I have to do now is get it out of this ZJ. It weighs a ton, uh, I can barely lift it. So. Uh, mission for today. I just went to uh, Home Depot to check out what I got. Um, simple stuff. Right there. I got some wheelbarrow wheels. Um, some uh, threaded uh, threaded stuff. Can't think of anything. This is, this is 5 eighths uh, threaded steel and um, I got some 2 by 4s So I'm going to be making a Dana dolly and that's what I'm going to use to get uh, that massive axle out of the ZJ and um, into my backyard. So here we go, on with the Dana Dolly project. Well, all right, guys, here we go. Here is my Dana Dolly. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we can get the uh, Dana 44 out of the ZJ. We'll get it on this thing and get it in the backyard. So cross your fingers. Hope we don't mess anything up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't mind, Jim, I really appreciate it. Oh, it is a miracle to see you, man. <laughs> well, thank you. All right, well, <laughs> I, I think that. you can see what I'm trying to do here. Oh, yeah. This thing weighs a ton. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. How can I grab this? That's a big piece of meat right there. Oh, yeah. There we go. I think I just dropped something. Uh, a little squeeze you, uh, you don't want it like that, right? You want it a little further? A little further, if it will reach. You got it? Yeah. Huh. You're in the zone. Hey. Nice. Jim. <laughs> oh. I don't care. <laughs> bump it. <laughs> Thank you, I man. I won't, I, I like your 
What do you want to call it here? I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm calling it my Dana dolly. I like it. I like yeah. your Dana dolly. I think that's uh, quickly slapped together, but precisely measured. I like it. Yeah. 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 I see that. Cool. I see that. Well, you need help moving it around. Nah, I got some stuff to move yeah. out of the way. One first. thing you didn't put on your Dana dolly is a steering wheel. I see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would just complicate things. Exactly. All right, guys, so my Dana Dolly was a complete success. Uh, a couple threaded rods, some 2x4s, and some wheelbarrow wheels, and uh, holds the Dana 44 very nice. Only problem <laughs> was getting it out of the ZJ. My execution was extremely flawed. So, um, all right, let's just check this out real quick. So, I um, got it uh, parked in the driveway right now. Uh, my goal is eventually to get it into the yard. And when I was in the yard, I was going to cleverly discuss some more plans with you and show you more parts, but I forgot that I had this lovely tow dolly blocking the gate. So I'm going to have to do some shuffling, and uh, I'll just walk you through it as I close out this video. So here we go. Here's a score. Here's a ZJ tailgate I got for free. Um, I have a special plan to incorporate a flip glass the ZJ tailgate onto an XJ. That's coming up on my beach jeep build. Here we go, here's Beach Jeep Body 1, Beach Jeep Body 2, the two-door. I'm in the works of making it, uh, we're making it possible. My Beach Jeep build is it's coming down, it's coming closely. So here we go, here's my slab, all my parts. I got some rims, I got some engines, I got the slab. Um, I'm just about ready to go. I still gotta wait for a buddy to come on down and flatten the mound, this way we can even out the yard and then, uh, I'll build something back there, maybe a temporary, maybe a permanent thing to uh, store some XJs. So that's it, guys. Uh, that is, um, that's my project. Well, project, I am the project. That's, uh, that's my latest update video about my project. So I hope you enjoyed <laughs> my Dana Dolly. Thank you guys for watching. Um, special thanks to D&E. Um, they're gonna have that junkyard video coming out soon. So uh, stay tuned to their channel to see that. I'll link you uh, to them in the description. And uh, that's about it, guys. Remember to like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next project. And peace.